What's up, guys? Here we are, downtown Knoxville. Hey, he is a, uh, and you can bet your bottom dollar, Sampy's got the bell rung on everybody. He just gets there before everybody else does. Mid South said, "How does Sampy beat me? I know I just set this thing up ten minutes ago." <laughs> hey, fishing with Big Mike. What's up, fish? Fish chisel. About got my tongue tangled up on that one. Mid South and Sampy. How's it going? Red said, I need a boat. Hey, Big John, Big John, what's up? My bell rung and I immediately joined, Mid South said. Sounds like I need to get out in this pier. So, uh, Mid South, <laughs> getting timed out, huh? <laughs> yeah, what's up, Mid South? <laughs> It's too big for him. What's up, Tony? Stephen Merchant, what's up? It's so nice and warm. It's supposed to, the bottom's supposed to drop out about midweek again, Wednesday. It's supposed to get in the 30s again at night. It's going to suck, but it's nice right now. We're in our short sleeves. What's up, Troy? <laughs> he said, hello, my best fish friend, fish in the mid-south. <laughs> You're his best friend, whether you want to be or not now. Mid-south, you might as well just resign yourself. What's up, Mike Young? Hey. Well, it won't be long before I have to put my jacket on. Then I said, someone else has a live schedule for literally five minutes from now. Odd coincidence, eh? LOL. I don't even know. But I'm not going to ask. <laughs> I would have uh, kind of would have liked to have uh, gotten out here a little bit earlier, but you know how that works. Travis has driven all over the world today. Oh, no. We had family with uh, Easterwood's family, and so I can't stay out too long tonight. Work tomorrow, but we've only caught one fish this weekend, so I had to get out and see if I could get something else before I go back to work. Your wife told me she wants a 2014 Trekker Pro Guide V175 with a 115 horsepower Merc 4 stroke. Just saying, <laughs> I did all that in one voice. And one bore at breath. I about lost it. Where the fish at? Yak sure said. Hey, yakety yak. We're downtown Knoxville. We're hoping they're here. We'll try to pull one of them sturgeons out here. Yeah. Another one. Another sturgeon. Slap my face. <laughs> like, 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 like. Mid South, what are you gagging about? I didn't know I wanted that Mid South, she said. Mid South said I would never pick on Tony. Troy said, wow, Mid South, she didn't even tell me that. Mrs. AA is look what have it. I'm selling mine. <laughs> Everybody wants it, Mid South. Nice. Think that's far enough? We're not over there where we were the other night, but that might work work out better. I wonder if that freaky weirdo got still under the bridge. Said I wonder if that weirdo got still under the bridge. No, what? Was, didn't you see that guy under the bridge when we came through there? No, oh, was he? Oh no, this guy was just standing behind the pylon a little bit, like, like 
you couldn't see like it. I mean, like he was pressed up against it or something. It was. It was weird. <laughs> we are downtown Nashville. <laughs> Troy said we just got rid of our boat. Y'all need kayaks. For real. What's up, Angela? Garage captain, I don't catch enough fish to slime it up very much, Miss South said. Tony said, good luck with that mid. I can dish it back. How's them toes doing from all the rocks you were kicking? <laughs> mm. It's Al said, Tony, better than Lisa's toes. Hey, V8. Welcome in. <laughs> Why? There goes Troy. Why are you gagging now, Troy? I'm going to get a complex because I know what that means. <laughs> I mean, I've seen it used in other chats <laughs> recently. <laughs> That was not for you, V8, Troy said. Uh oh. I think you lost part of the gut pocket on that one or something. Was it a thread pin? Where'd it go? It went over that way, but there was still something on the hook when you threw it over there, I think. Midsell said, Troy, trying to save your marriage. I'll sell you my boat. I'm sweet like that. Tony said, V8, you had 1,100 watching your drag races over 1,000 likes. Freaking killed it, bro. Okay, that's exactly what, I, that's what I, I was thinking. That's where I saw it when he was doing that. But listen, I've had trouble there too, mid -Sale. Cindy, what does that emoji mean? I'm just poking at Tony for being meanie to Stewie. <clears throat> Let me just say that some people cause their own problems. V8 said, yeah, that was a great life. <laughs> A trip to fan be nice to. A trip to fan be nice to Stuart. What? <laughs> How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? JBT said. Mid South said, "I run around a dragon. No one watches me." Real good, V8. Great races too. On the subject of people causing their own problems. Hi, JBT. <laughs> mid cell. For sure, amazing races. First ever real car and funny car doing back side. No fret. All right, Angela, she said, be right back, y'all. I said, JBT, I only pick you because others do. I have no bone to pick. Y'all should have been in Danny Stone's earlier. <laughs> JBT said, I'm going live later. Today is Easter and it's a really nice day. So that equals packed lake. Equals what? Packed lake. Tony said, that's the only place he does AA. Mid South said, AA, I did try that, but my prison wallet kept getting raided. I 
No, it, that's what was funny about it, Mid South. He said, Cindy, I wasn't trying to get under Danny's skin. I was just goofing off. I know I ever, that's what I said. That's the first time I've ever seen anybody take you seriously. <laughs> it was pretty wild. <laughs> What's up, Michelle Mason? Did you get your uh, lady? Uh, I think I asked this Friday, and you probably wouldn't have got it between then and now, but you didn't get your lady, lady uh, JB Well. JBT said, what happened to Danny Stones? I didn't realize he was getting mad until he already was, Mitzel said. <laughs> he got timed out. <laughs> he got timed out, JBT. Danny Stone timed his butt out. <laughs> For giving him a hard time about not seeing the rods move. <laughs> Troy said, Mitzel, you guys are awesome. If you don't get it by uh, by the my Wednesday live, just let me know, like message me or whatever. If you do get it the first of the week, otherwise I'll have Travis. Travis go pick up another one. We'll send it, or if I can find it at one of my gas stations. Tony said, "Don't become the next S warp mid." <laughs> oh. He was just picking a little bit. When he took the camera over to the rod, I was rolling in the floor, Mid-South said. <laughs> Troy said, most of us know you were joking, Mid-South. Welcome back, Angela. Them uh, herons are still lined up along the bank over there. When we got here, What's that? Oh, you're putting pack bait on and a worm? Mm -hmm. I got boilies, too, in the car. Yeah, I'm going to try to throw this without this coming off, but I don't know if I'm going to have much luck. Nope. <laughs> if you know about where it landed, just throw a handful of it out there. What are you talking about? Is that the one that's got the loop in the bottom? For real? Well, it's been on there a while, I reckon. I don't know how long you had it on there, but... Tony, I've been doing it longer, and I'm better at it. <laughs> Dang it. I don't know why I stuck my hands in my pockets. I don't Hope you had a fantastic Easter. I did. What's up, Mark? How's it going? Welcome in. JBT says if someone gets repetitive and it starts taking over the chat, I ain't gonna listen to that shit. Does does get oh to that shit does get annoying when you're fishing, right? What kind of Jody's cooking was that? She was on the hook. That was pack bait. Then Sal said, JBT, I actually try to add to the chat. And you do. I'm trying to nurse that baby squirrel. Did you get the name of that rescue? I think it's Mama Bear or something like that. Animal Rescue, you can contact them or uh, Little Ponderosa Zoo might take it. Do you need me to go back to the car and get a hug? If you look around here on the ground, there probably is one. I'll look for one. Okay. Yeah, she said call Ponderosa. Baby squirrel doesn't even make milk. Why are you trying to nurse off of it? <laughs> Mid-South, that's gross. Troy said, I think Mid-South makes the check great. Hey, Brokeback Bob. 
how's the uh barbecue sauce business going they were closed man that sucks what they what i did was took uh, if you scald milk i looked on the internet and you could scald milk and use like a little eyedropper i ended up going and getting a bottle but you can use a little eyedropper and feed a little bit of time but you also gotta like take a q-tip wet q-tip and wipe their behinds if they're small enough to, to stimulate them to go poop mid south said cindy it's after dark i'll allow it well okay you'd be good tonight thank you <laughs> cindy don't be good on my account. What's up, Sampy? Let me go see if I can find a light spot. The what? Oh, thunder at stump right there. Huh? Thunder at stump. The log is sitting on. Right under it. That plug? Yeah. Right in front of you. Under it. Get that light out there. You're not going to see it. Did you catch one? No. A white bass? Hmm. A big old skip pack. Awesome. That's a big old skip, Jay. Dang. Okay. Mid South, you're banned from the barbecue sauce because you couldn't handle the aftermath, broke back Bob said. Today was 78 degrees. All day, cloudy, 10 mile an hour. Perfect to fish all day. Too bad it was Easter. You have almost 20 quarts of barbecue sauce, so, so, so cheap. Dang it. What is a prison wallet? It's a risk of sounding uh, uneducated. Christy, 75, southeast is 17 miles an hour and 88% humidity. Yeah. They'll probably cut that up in a minute and put it on a couple of the rocks. We got thread fin, frozen skipjack, fresh skipjack now. 
Tommy said, Mid South is used to getting banned. No worries there. So, someone has said, Prison Wall is your butthole. Okay. Oh, yeah, Keystern. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Don't ask that. <laughs> Bob, after the live, I'll go in and give you a wrench. Oh, Travis may, able, may be able to now. I went in and made him a, a something, kind of something, that administrator, moderator on YouTube. He already was in StreamYard, so we'll see. He should be able to make people mods and stuff now. It's a Wally one-eye catcher. <laughs> It'd be nice to get a hold of another sturgeon out here. When we first got here, there were some young people here, and uh, one of them had caught a sturgeon here a week or two ago. So, you need bait? Send me some. Come out and get it. I think the wind is causing the rods to bounce some. If not, we're getting a bite. Travis got his uh, anvil rods in. So we have four yellow ones now, but those two black rods cast so good. I don't need a wrench to enjoy the show or make trouble. All right, then. It would be awesome. I'd love it. Hey, Bud Files, what's up? Parents lined up along the bank down there was cool. There was like six of them spread out, catching bait out of here. Thread fins are in here thick. We all make trouble here, Bob. Do I need to change my channel name to Here's Trouble? <laughs> Tommy said I got two cat claw Z rod holders that came in Friday. Awesome. I hope we get on something down here tonight. Miss Cindy will just take it away like Jody did. <laughs> now why would I take your wrench away? I can attach them to my backpack. That's good. You should have seen us coming down here. I've got that. We've got a backpack. It actually used to be one of them little mini dog carriers. We just piled that sucker full when I carried it. It looked like a Sherpa coming down here. It's hard to get in trouble in my chat. We really have to do, be doing something. Actually, it's not that hard. You just got to do key things. And then Travis goes slap off. <laughs> Troy said, I don't think Cindy would do that, Bob. We're all just having fun. Brad said, catch a fish already, Lord. Please hit the like button, even if you really don't want to. I'd appreciate it. It's something. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Somebody's got to be that person that hits the thumbs down. Where you at, Red? You can be out here fishing. Angela said, your chat rocks, Cindy. We can all let our freak flags fly. <laughs> as long as we aren't mean. That's right. 
You just can't fight, bring your old beef shit with other people into here and but you can cut up and carry on as much as you want. Mid South. We're waiting on the fish. I'm in bed. Tomorrow is day ten. You need to take a day off, Fred. You need one good quality person that can give you a day off. But you gotta pay for her. Hit the thumbs up, Cindy. <laughs> Angela DM me, honey. Tell her well, just joking. <laughs> now yeah, I mean, it's that's one of the people that can get himself in trouble. Yeah, then all you do is sleep. I, I usually have one day a week, and that's usually Friday that I sleep. Unless it, Travis knows if 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 as soon as I get up there, let's go go fishing, or I'm gonna go sleep on Fridays. If not, we fish half the night, and I stay. End up staying up almost twenty four hours. Lord, Mid South Trouble is your middle name. Y'all should have been in here the other night when Becca came up on panel and was singing. You missed it. It was so funny. Mid South bank fishing is a tad more challenging too. I I really actually enjoy bank fishing more when I doing lives and stuff. It's easier to do a live on the bank. Rutherford Jonathan, her name is Angela, and Adventure America, his name is Troy. Brokeback Bob said, come on now, Mid-South, you know your trouble from the letter M. Did you really just hear an excuse? Well, if you want to call the truth an excuse, I can have fun in, on my chat without catching nothing. I like to catch fish, but I didn't go live Saturday night. Ooh, there went one of them things right over our heads. The heron? Yeah. So right over our heads. <laughs> but, um, No work tonight, still listening. Get yourself a nice one, Cindy. I hope I do gig ability. It was good to uh, spend some time in fishing for claimers chat today. I wish him well. Yeah, it's over here on this rock. If you can have fun without catching fish, you must be the funniest person I know. I'm I'm dead for that. Funnest person. Listen, me and Travis have fun doing anything and everything. It's an adventure. Troy said, I love Mid-South and to put a bunch of hearts in chat. Oh, it was hilarious. When uh when Becca came up and sang the other night. <laughs> she was on panel. It was so funny. I mean, we had a time. There wasn't but about seven or I, I guess maybe nine people in chat. Man, we had a blast. Me and her was singing old like nineteen seventies and eighties songs. And then she sang one that was absolutely hilarious. That was the funniest thing. Gotta go. Th gotta throw clothes in the dryer. Wash my butt and get in bed. Red. Well, make sure you do. I used every heart I could find. <laughs> Troy said to himself. <laughs> I 
Wait till I get my boat, then I'll pay, be paying $35,000 to not catch fish, right? We went uh, Saturday night on the boat up the Little River where there should have been some flatheads. I mean, it looked like prime flathead territory. Nothing. We didn't catch nothing. We had a few bites, and that's it. I didn't go live because, you know, lighting is an issue, and it's just not... It's not as easy to see stuff on that little boat. I ain't gonna sleep. I'm gonna gotta listen to Cindy talk while I scrub my balls. Well, thank you. That's gonna be on my mind now. Thank you whole just so much. Mintzow said, Red for fourteen thousand, you cannot catch fish in my boat. Look at me saving you money. If they have fun doing anything and everything, you can imagine what happens when they have a gallon of barbecue sauce when fishing. <laughs> right. Exactly. Rudd said, mid South, take me to dinner first. It normally is. We were targeting Flathead. Lately, the butt's been kind of rough. Like... Almost all year so far. Maybe I just don't know how to fish, but I'm still out here trying. I'm going to sleep on the water in that thing, Red said. Hey, Don R. Welcome. Red said, you can go live on my boat. Huh? You going to catch a white bass on pack bait? Did it go out that time? Oh, you put it on that rod? Oh, hello. On the fly. Oh, my God. Red said, water comes up on the bank, the bank bottle will turn on. Yeah, it's hard when the water's down and nothing's consistent. Okay. Corey said, we catch more from a kayak than a boat. If you can see on your your boat, red and but it's I mean you got unless you got all your rod holders close together, you can pick like one or two. It's just hard doing a live from the boat. You can't watch the rods. Man, is that wind making? Is that noisy to y'all? Mid South said, "Red, it's all fun and games until your nuts get attacked by skeeters." That's why I cover them in icy hot mid south. Dang. <laughs> okay. Don R. Her name is Angela, and his name is Troy. Brokeback Bob said, "Uncle Don R. The short pole king, and still forgets how to use it." <laughs> Dang it. Troy said, "Skeeter can be a problem mid south." Mitzel said, AA, my boat will hold your kayaks and you can drag them into fun places. Fred said, multi bars out of the back. If catfish Karen can do it and film it, anyone can. Lord have mercy. Oh. Tony said, Ran the Rambler, Don R. Mitzel said, Cindy, none of us guys give a shirt what his name is, just hers. <laughs> Well, her name is Angela. Donar said, Bob, a short, stiff pole <laughs> in the back of the Rambler. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> I got the curler on, so you guys should be good about the wind noise, hopefully. Mid South said, Cindy and Bait Boy, Angela and Moneybags, those are the couples we know. <laughs> You're Bait Boy. <laughs> it cracks me up. Troy said, But I said I love you, Mid South. <laughs> she said, It's Angela, y'all. Misadventure said.
Your hands are wet. I just finished them off. Well, that's good. Wind is kind of making them move a little bit, but I think that last rod may be getting messed with. That's right in the same area you caught the sturgeon in. We caught the sturgeon. Isn't it? What's up, Fresno? Hey, Dale. Welcome in. Gig, I'm glad you got a night off. Mid South said another couple is Lisa and Geezer. So, yeah, none of the men have names. <laughs> According to Mid South. <laughs> What's Freddie's name? Uh, Geezer. Geezer. <laughs> Lisa and Geezer, me and Babe Boy, and Angela and uh, Moneybags. <laughs> Hey, Dave Garcher, what's up? <laughs> There's Crystal and Sticker Mule. Mid South giving out new names tonight. No, oh, he said the men's names aren't important, just the women's. So he just gives the men nicknames. Don R said, I need a logbook to put down the names, channel, Facebook name, email, Twitter name, etc. LOL. <laughs> now, Crystal and Sticker Mule, is that the other ball? Or is that Broke Bag Bob? Oh, no. Sticker Mule is, uh, you're talking about. Mo dog and crystal. I don't know why sticker mule it just occurred to me. It's, it's trying just trying to deny the trees. Hey Ken, what's up, boring fisherman? We're done, Ken. Seagull said that's very true, Cindy. <laughs> it's how said ho dog. Oh, Back Bob said, Why, Don R? You can't read anyway. <laughs> Y'all are so mean. <laughs> What's up, Willie? I, I always, because he says, What's up? I always feel the need to yell his name. <laughs> Dobo. Just settling down after a long day of pier fishing and no fish coming home. Happy Easter. Really, you didn't didn't do well. We haven't been doing well either. So, see, like Hess and Hope's dad. Tiger rod. Is it? Dog and I. Curtis said yellow. Not sure why he just said yellow, but oh, yellow? <laughs> Maybe. Sticker mule is where I get my stickers made, Don R said. Happy Easter, everybody. Hey, get on the chat and see what you can do for people. What do you mean? I made you that thing. Oh, well, you want me to do it, well, I want to know if you can make mods or whatever. If you can make mods and take mods away. <laughs> He's been putting time out already today. You can't make him a moderator. 
standard moderator remove moderator. Let me uh, go into different right here. Oh yeah, you should. You have to switch accounts, right? And so I said, like Seagull and Modog, they both get names because they're a cute couple. <laughs> hey, Southern Wild Finn, welcome in. What's going on, man? Back. It was a tough weekend fishing, Dale said. Yeah, Modog, I read Modog's post where he said he didn't couldn't catch one. Ken said, Facts mid south. I'm just hopes, Dad. Brokeback Bob said, Boring fishermen, you need to buy some barbecue sauce and you won't be boring anymore. This barbecue sauce will turn your life around. And South said, Ken, your hopes financier. Willie said, Amazon is where I get my stickers. Way cheaper than Sticker Mule. Me too, Willie. Do I have one of your stickers, Willie? And if I don't, why don't I? Ken said, I do finance that girl. Today she got a new reel because she's adorable and said, please. <laughs> Managing mods can't mod people. What I wonder what you can do. It's different. Troy said we need to go fishing sometime mid south. So she got an Abu Garcia Black Max twenty. Awesome. Brokeback Bob said Amazon stickers fade out from the sun too fast. Oh well. I don't put mine in the sun, but other people may put mine in the sun. Mid South said, Troy, the last person who invited me fish and tried to murder me, didn't you, Rudd? <laughs> well, he said, clear coated Bob, I'm a poor MFer. <laughs> Angela said, we'll be gentle, Mid South. <laughs> Tony said, you murdered yourself, Mid, trying to stay, try staying in the yak. <laughs> Thank you, Nightbot, for dropping links. Fish for Life, 1979 at gmail.com. Send me an address. Lord have mercy. Mm. You're going to have to take a picture of this email address or something. Or can somebody write it or, you know, like send me that in Messenger? Because I will not remember it no matter how hard I try. Fish for Life 1979 at Gmail. Hey, Maria. It was cool. I'm seeing you out fishing today. Who said her name? Uh, Willie. Okay. Fish, the number four, life, 1979. Letter four, number four. SL said, Angela, why do I have a John Anderson song in my head just to swing in? Oh, Lord, Mid South, why you gotta make me sing? There is a little girl in my neighborhood. Her name is Charlotte Johnson, and she's really looking good. <laughs> Do you have a set of stickers and know they are from Humpback Mountain? No, I don't have a set of your stickers, Bob, and I need some. Humpback Mountain. Here is my addri email address. I'll, I'll screenshot it for you. Okay. Bob? Thank you. 
Okay. He said message your own uh, Facebook messenger too. Is that why you never called me, Cindy? You couldn't remember my number? Probably. Finished making up about five pins of deli style chicken ham for sandwich meat. Cost me about 15 bucks. Don dang it. Have him on Messenger. He will message it to you. Okay, that's awesome. Wonder if we can do anything to help the Amazon stickers not fade. Hey, Backlash. Man, y'all have got me so far behind that I cannot. <laughs> when she starts asking for a pony for her 16th birthday, I guess it's expensive as hay. I want a, a sticker in the shape of Tennessee with something, some of my stuff on it. Let me scroll down here. Front lash pro peg bob said. Ken said, Dale, no freaking way. The only place I have room for horses packaged in little hot packages in the freezer. <laughs> scroll, 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 scroll. It felt really good to get out there today. Yeah. I love being out here. It's nice tonight. It's not really cold at all. Red said, send it, send it to you on Facebook. So, Red, I've had your sticker pack you won for the longest time in, a, in Travis's car. I don't even know if I can find all the pieces anymore. <laughs> Do what? I've had Red sticker pack you won one forever oh, ago. Never man, has got that it. thing in my car like three times. I know it. <laughs> Troy said, I think Mid-South is suspicious of my intentions. Troy, I'm suspicious of your intentions. <laughs> Gigability said, Google, it west of Newport Ritchie, about three miles off the beach. Is that where you are? I fed them for five hours straight. Man, I want some of them shrimp you were getting. Bob, yeah, I need your stickers. Ken said, cool, I'm currently shore base for saltwater. I ain't taking my John boat out for that stuff. Chicken ham, what kind of flying horse shit is that? <laughs> <It's outside. laughs> you can be able to say you'll get one born. There's plenty of them. Well, Red listened to us while he was in the shower, so his balls are clean and he's still watching. Isn't that great? He told me his balls are clean. That's good. He works at a Waggle store, so you know that at least he's clean. So what he's saying is he's at work with dirty balls. No. Yeah, he was until he came home and showered. DJ's Adventures and Beyond. Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm new to this chat. How's everyone doing this evening? Happy Easter to everyone. I think I've seen you. I, I mean, I know. I like I, I think I was in your chat in the last couple of days. But welcome in. We appreciate you coming in. Happy Easter. Don R said, keep your stickers out of the sun. Your stickers out in the sun all day. It's on the back window of my truck. Is it faded out yet, Red? Nice to know, Uncle Red. Roy said, I'm being bad. I'm no cat virgin, just a baby whales. Just shot. Really? Just shot 50 pounds. It's a nice way to pop the cherry on catfish and video up when the laptop sorted 100%. Happy Easter Day, everyone. Awesome, Lloyds. That's awesome. Dale said, I'm way behind with everything else going on. My computer blew up with people wanting to chat. Oh, no. And Sal said, Lloyd, any idea who was spreading rumors about your untimely demise? What's up, Lonnie? How are you? It was absolutely beautiful here. Huh? I thought that was Mark. Mark did come in. Lonnie did, too. Oh. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful here today too uh well you couldn't ask for a better easter day mid south said troy it's all fun and games until i end up pregnant 
Candy, they're small. Willie said the only one dang fish though, but it was a nice crappie. Well, that's a, I mean, it's a start and you got out there. Well, I caught one skipjack. He did catch one skipjack. I hope we catch more than that though. Lloyd said, mid south, you tell me I bob on. I can send you a set for each of you, but you have to make him beg for his. <laughs> if there wasn't, well, you know, I would just give my, uh, whoa, bite on tiger rod. And I can't see. I would give my address out here in chat, but you know. There's that one chance that there's some creeper that would show up in my house. So if you will, send me an email and I'll send you my address since I'm on here. Apparently men can get pregnant nowadays, Mid-South, Troy said. Red said they start off clean. <laughs> Willie said I was only going to make him dance for mine, Bob. He'll dance for mine. He'll get up there and shake his moneymaker. Mid-South said, Troy, I'm half an inch from being a woman. Hmm. Oh, still bright as can be, Red said. Yes, and hope we're going for cats tomorrow. I'll be at work. Hope they get some. That's awful, man. What did I miss? What's awful? Hmm. What did you miss? What did I miss? I don't know what, what Tony's saying. That's awful, mid to mid south about. Rod said, end of May, when can't, uh, let's see, I'm about that. We're going to go drag at night and get a 50. I ain't getting in the middle all day. Tommy said, that's awful, Red. And I think he's just saying that's awful to everybody. That's just terrible. That's just terrible, y'all. Hey, Scotty. Uh, yeah. Scotty, hey, Scotty. What's up, Scotty? <laughs> Bob said, Dobo, we don't need to see him dancing, do any pole dancing tonight. It wasn't, it wasn't exciting last time. Mid South said, Tony, that's what my girlfriend said. She s keeps screaming while spelling run. <laughs> no, I'm not reading that. I'm not getting involved in that drama, 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 drama. Red, Cindy wants Dave's clean balls. Hush it. Ken said, Tiger Rod, I had two of those in the water today. We broke off one here already. So we've got one Tiger Rod in the water. One skipjack rod out there with a pack bait and stuff on it. That ought to be fun if we get something. And then. Actually, I trust the skipjack rod better than I do that tiger rod. Oh, yeah. The line, the line needs changed out on the tiger rods. Um, then we've got. I don't remember the name of my other rod. Oh, we got my ass and the two anvil rods, which I have not named. Which I don't know if I will name. I'm not sure if I believe in naming your rods. The hooker in my ass. The hooker in my ass and then the two anvils. <laughs> Mid South said, I already have your address, Cindy. Candy, why are you calling me some condies? <laughs> what the hell? Mid South, get straight. Get in the boat May 1st. Oh, yay. Tony said, weather Cindy's house. Weather for hole conditions are mostly cloudy with a temperature of 81. The wind is blowing from south-southwest at 5. And there's 84% humidity, and that's lovely. Yeah. Dale said, Cindy, I start a new job tomorrow, so I won't be the creeper. Oh, you're not going to? Ah! <laughs> not going to show up to my house if I give my address out in chat? Don't give it out in chat, Cindy. Yeah, I'm not going to. Red said, weather Travis. Weather for Austin. Conditions are cloudy with a temperature of 76. The wind is blowing from the southeast at 9 and the current humidity 76. I guess that's what comes up when you put in Travis. Lonnie said, I'll show you how to fish when you get that boat red. 
How the if does Travis turn into Austin? Red said. <laughs> How do I turn into Ho? <laughs> Don't answer that. Don R said, "If I I have it, want me to post? Are you going to provide me with a a bodyguard there? Like I need one? I could probably post my address and nobody would show up." <laughs> <laughs> it sounds if I'm in a I'll bring it all around me as long as we catch fish and have fun Lonnie but it's, a, if it's big enough we can spoon on it in a sleeping bag when it gets cold at night <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> and Lonnie said absolutely hey adventures uh for claimers. Hi Cindy, I made it. Now is this uh is this you or your dad? Is this dad or welcome in? Bonnie said only from the big spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Red said that's awful, Anthony. <laughs> We've got a theme going tonight. Kill Billy Gig said Gerald. Red, we have feelings in sleeping bags, LOL. <laughs> Red said, you pay for gas and I, and you can be the big dipper. <laughs> the big dipper? <laughs> Y'all are crazy. It says Cindy said hush it, but she didn't deny it. <laughs> well, I've had my moments. I'm a... If I'm a hoe, I'm Travis's hoe, so... Hey, Wade Woodruff. Happy Easter Sunday from Mexico. God wins. There goes Life Star again. How far behind am I? That tiger rod line is older than me, Red said. Probably. Weather for Wade Bridge? Is not about just randomly thrown out? Oh. <laughs> Don R said weather for and he gave a zip code and then said good evening Wade and it, it, it went ahead and gave him the weather <laughs> but he gave it for Wade and so I said Wade I don't have my son killed just saying what catfish fritters oh the last rod's getting a bite that's a weather for Jizan, 84 degrees. Hey, that weather's good there too. Zero mile an hour wind. Come on, fish. 72% humidity. I like that. Bismarck, I don't like that. 33 degrees. Three mile an hour, 62% humidity. Nah. Cindy's drawers have a lot of humidity, but doesn't blow hard. Hmm. It's out. <laughs> you turd. Sorry to hear about your son. Weather Uranus. I'm so. Mid South said, Cindy, I think it starts when you use the plug with a tail. Catfish fritter for breakfast. We don't eat the ones we catch. Not out of these waters. We, we'll eat them catfish at a Cracker Barrel. Rudd said, you can give out your address. Don't matter because you're never there. I'm there as little as I can possibly be. And so I said, hey, Dustin, catch up and chat. <laughs> it's my channel. My dad comes in on my name because he has an old phone. Okay. Travis Ho, Tony said. Okay. Now, Cracker Barrel has good catfish, Troy said. Sauger for the fish fry, Lonnie said. And, Brett said that's terrible, Anthony. Okay, I'm caught up. Y'all give me a hard time about being in chat. Sorry that I skipped everything, Gigability.
Tommy said that's awful, Red. Red said unfortunate, Anthony. <laughs> that's mm. the theme of the night, them saying that's awful to each other. We don't we don't like that negativity. Ain't nobody got time for that. Change it up. You'll be live in the morning. Troy said we need to chat faster. Cindy's caught up. Y'all are butts. <laughs> You'll be live in the AM. I probably won't won't get to uh, come in that one. I got to be at work at six. I'm gonna work till four. Brad said your butt took a beating, Lloyd. You're gonna get. See. You're going to get Mid-South excited. Nice meeting you, too. He said, I wanted to come in and say hi. I'm off to bed. Nice meeting y'all. Fishing for claimers. Your baby took meeting soon. Lonnie said, I'll be fishing tomorrow. There you go. Tony said, that's awesome, Red. There you go. Dale said, AA, I'm way behind and distracted from listening to Cindy. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's fantastic, Anthony, Red said. Yeah, now y'all are cooking. I'll be asleep in the AM or at work. Maybe we're catching the evening live. Be well in tight lines. That'll that'll be cool. I've got the bell rung for you. I'll come in. Angela said that doesn't take much. Angela understands. Donar said good thing. Turn not a tomato, Tony, because you and you would be ketchup. Same with Cindy. <laughs> You're not a tomato, Tony, because. You may catch up some with Cindy. No, Lonnie, you know, it's not awful. It's awesome and good. You don't say awful, say. You can say something weird. <laughs> well, good night, get some rest. Our bench watchers are gone. Well, it's nice that the rods are moving a little bit, but I'd like to see a little better. I haven't seen burrito yet. They were out fishing earlier in Lenore City, so. Hello? Oh, crap. Are you watching the chat? Hmm. You hit it again? Yeah. Bouncing the crap out of it. That light blinds me. I about can't see. It was a big tug, wasn't it, Dale? Reminds me I need to make more ketchup soon, Don said. Travis is going to have to change his name to no BS because I don't see a lot of fish being caught. <laughs> she got seven toes now, Rudd said. That was a hit and run. It was. They've been hitting and running for a minute or two. Lonnie said clickers. Just We're not on Fort Loudon, Rudd. Well, we sort of are.
Rug said, Dagum Life Star sounds good. <laughs> it is right. Right there. Right there at UT Hospital. There's two helicopters. Well, I'm no wonder you ain't catching anything. Them dag busted dogs. We're kind of on the Little Tennessee River. Mm. I said we're on the Little Tennessee River. Rudd said I love the sound of them. Well, they're busy taking off and uh, landing over there at the hospital. Come on, cat, kitty, kitty. We got to catch a fish for fishing for claimers. What is the, what's your first name? And I'll call you by that if you don't mind. If I can remember it. Some I remember easy and it takes me a few times with other people. Lloyd said, Travis, get ready. Oh, crap. Man, it's snagging at it good. Be ready to wet your willies. Baby whale's coming to kiss all your asses. Uncle Lou gets me a rod over here. I'm planning on bigger. He caught a whale's catfish. Ooh. Lloyd did. Gerald or Jerry? Okay. Brad said one was a medical helicopter from Kentucky. Mid-South be kitchen. <laughs> Well, they've all got fish in them. All the lakes in them. All the lakes do. It's not as good as they used to be, but what else? What is? Nope. What's up? Jake from State Farm. Red said, oh, whales is on the bucket list. You better travel for them whales catfish there, Red. Hitch by hitch. I just can't bring myself to call you by the name Sebastian calls you by, so I won't. <laughs> Go on. He's turning that bait all to pieces. Eh? Red said it's not bad, but it's, or it's not bad, but it's not great. COVID killed a bunch of great fisheries. Yeah, everybody was out fishing them. Is that you? Boyd said, Travis, wet it anyway. What's up, Travis? Hitch said. Daldo? <laughs> Daldo. Is his name. Carol's. For real. It was. It all went downhill after Travis caught Spot, and then was never seen again. Where is is Dale still in here? Mid South said anything wet's Mid South's Willie. The only thing wet in Mid South's Willie is the bathtub. Red said, "Best I can do out of forty pounders, but I'll take those all day." Yeah, I like them. Maybe small man on there just keep get a hold of them.
Nope. I'll set it down. It's a channel cat, I'm sure. Mm. See, um, I, I guess I was wearing my boots the other night, but the rocks were easier to walk on in my boots than they are these tennis shoes. <laughs> it's out the wish it was a jump fly in. Oh man, I need it. It is hitting like a channel cut. Man, I tell you what, I'd love to uh, catch a flathead. I ain't caught one since the fall when I'm jonesing. <laughs> mm. uh, I hadn't caught one since the fall, have I? I don't think I have. Y'all, we were on that boat last night. And, you know, the guys can all just, like, hang it over the side and go pee. But after we'd been out there a while, I had to climb out of the boat onto the riprap. I have never before had to go pee in such a place. I had to pee right there in the middle of the rocks, the riprap. I mean, like, there was <laughs> no, no flat ground. It was crazy. And they were big rocks, too. All I can say is y'all are lucky. That you have a device that you can just use. <laughs> it is a problem for girls to go pee on the boat. Brad said a five-gallon bucket with a pool motor. Are you going to have one on your boat? You should do a flathead contest on Friday's Mid-South, you ass. <laughs> I'm not ready to... I'm going to time you out. It is not as easy for us, Angela. It sucks. I checked out the Shiwis, Red, and they look difficult. I see a, a recipe for disaster there. You still got to reach down in your pants and stuff. I <laughs> just don't <laughs> see it. A device. <laughs> Geekability, I'm trying to be a damn lady, okay? <laughs> Brett said, I am. I don't have a gallbladder, so I'll have a poop bucket. Gross. <laughs> Tony said, Sandy peas on rip rap. I did. It was big rocks, too. I kind of just wedged myself in between two of them, and, and yeah, it happened. <laughs> you get to go and need to go bad enough, and you'll go wherever. But, yeah, they pulled up to the to the bank and let me cr climb out on the rip rap. I just, I get to thinking about it. What size line do we use, hitch by hitch, said? 30-pound test braid with an 80-pound test leader. Did I say braid or mono? It's 30 pound test mono with an 80 pound test leader. I don't know what's wrong with me. We, we use braid on the skipjack lines. I don't know what I said, but I think I said it wrong. Donna said, I wish I was there to teach you how to hook up on that kind of bite. <laughs> I wish you were too, but Donna. Look, he's back. Donard said he carries a five-gallon bucket with a toilet lid on it for the wife. Rudd said, I'd use a she-wheel for climbing rocks any day. Well, I might have to get one and practice with it, Rudd. I might order me one and then practice with it so that I can do it seamlessly on the boat. Hitch by Hitch said, what about a diaper? Hitch, okay, let's what about a diaper. You're going to use one? If you'll use a diaper, then I'll use a diaper. But I just don't know if I can pee on myself. I just don't know. <laughs> Mid-Sell said, Cindy, just pinch your lips together. <laughs> what the hell, Mid-Sell? I didn't climb up them. I just got off the bank about two or three feet. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Lonnie said, I'm not getting on your boat if you're shitting all over it like a feral animal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tony said, that's amazing, these Tennessee Whiskers. Angela said, Uncle Red, you are a gentleman. My old roommate said he wears the pins when he's in a tree stand hunting for deer. I just don't think I could do it. Hey, Lance. 
you know, I heard that there was a person on like the line I work on that there was a person that actually went on themselves rather than walk off the line. I was like, hell no. If you're expecting that from me, you better you might as well just fire me now because it ain't happening. Nope. But yeah, I don't think I could do the depends thing. Red said, Don R, I'm going to as well. I ain't hanging it off the edge. Curtis said, I have a little portage on for my cuddy captain boat. Well, yeah, if you got a cuddy ca uh, cabin. We didn't bring it out here tonight. We had enough to carry out. I, I look like a Sherpa coming over here anyway. Red said, just go full NASCAR and use it and embrace it. Tony said, Cindy, if you use a diaper, <laughs> if you use a diaper, Cindy, I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> I'm not. And I wouldn't blame you, Tony. <laughs> I would lose all respect for myself. I cannot. Donna said, whoever uses the bucket has to clean. So I can use it for my lunch next time out, LOL. Stupid rods. What's up, Lance? It holds water to flush and has the blue dye stuff, Curtis said. Wow, that's nice. That's fancy. Mid-South uses pads, Tony said. <laughs> no, Troy said. Willie said, if I'm fighting a big enough fish, I'll use a diaper. If I'm fighting a big enough fish, I don't have to go anymore. It takes the urge away. It takes everything away. If I get a fish on, if I'm hurting somewhere, if I'm sleepy, it don't matter. It all goes away. Otter said, I, I just have the knack for showing up at the right time, I reckon. No, Otter Cat, you could show up in my chat just about any time and run into maybe something inappropriate. Red, that's what a live well is for, mud sharks. <laughs> Shoo, gross. Poop in the bucket, Lonnie, not all over the boat. Tony said Mid-South does use pads, AA. What is going on in downtown Knoxville? Somebody's shooting like hell. Did, could y'all hear that? Good and going off? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Damn. Hit the deck. <laughs> this is downtown Knoxville and somebody's firing a gun off. That's probably why. We, Gerald. We hear sirens here in a minute. Yeah. Gerald said, I, wow, I fit right in around here. Y'all, hello, well, y'all funny. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do something the fish don't bite. Or they do bite, but they don't get caught. <laughs> I, you know, I've been crazy my whole life. I can't change now just because I'm on YouTube. What's up, Otter Cat? Lonnie said, you better hit the woods. You better b beach that boat and head head for the rip rap. At least when Lonnie's on the boat. <laughs> Red said, my boat, my poop bucket. He's going to be spending a lot of time alone. Because if I'm on the boat, you ain't using no poop bucket. I ain't listening until you go. Shoo. <laughs> Troy said, hello, Otter Cat. I want one of your stickers from Mo Dog. I don't have an Otter Cat sticker. Why do I not have an Otter Cat sticker? Again, I need stickers. <laughs> Lonnie's, <laughs> Lonnie's putting up the sick face. <laughs> Our cat said, I'm working on something. Okay. Fred said, I ain't moving off a good spot to go to the bank and poop. Sorry, not sorry, Lonnie. Well, you just lost everybody that's going to go fishing with you. <laughs> oh, God. Don said, I use a bottle, but pop bottles have too small a hole, so I use a tea bottle or bigger. <laughs> hey, now, the thing that does work, Fred said, you can still spoon me, though. <laughs> it changes everything. No, that changes everything about the spooning, don't it, Lonnie? Um, pineapple. 
this chat is going to shit. It usually does. It usually, it don't usually go to, to poop, though. Hey, Bobby. I can't hang it or way over the side. I have to lean way over and almost tip the boat. They ain't going to see much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. And most men would be saying that water's deep and cold. <laughs> Willie said, fishing is freedom. It is. Red said, don't argue. You, you ain't supposed to put your whole sausage in the bottle. Just line the holes up loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, they heard the gunshots. Ah. Come on, fish. I can't keep getting them walking across these rocks. You're going to have my other butt cheek bruised. Y'all, where I fell last last week, <laughs> I still have a pr pretty bad bruise on my butt. I didn't know I did, Travis saw it. <laughs> uh, well, that's a TMI, too, I guess. Uh, Don said, right, I don't have very good aim anymore. Hey, Kim, welcome back. Mintel said, because Otter Cat doesn't like you. Bugman, hey, how far behind am I? Oh. All right, sorry, y'all. I just skipped everything that was said. <laughs> y'all are, are keeping me behind. Gerald said, it sucks when all you have is a small pole and spring water bottle. Way too small around. Bugman said, hi, all. I'm eating, creeping here in the bay. Mo Dogs Otter Cat stickers is duct tape. <laughs> Damn it. Hook yourself up. He keeps calling me Dustin for getting behind. Mo Moon South does. Dang it. I'm going to try to hook this up again. So. Mid South, I just double checked we were subs. <laughs> I would be you were. I said he's all over this thing, but he's apparently too small to get the bait in his mouth. Little turd. I'm going to take a damn pole back over to the, to the rock. <laughs> I think another one's been hit. Mm -hmm. I'm about to take it away from it. Give him that one. One more chance. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put I'm yeah, it's going in a different place. Screw that little channel cat. He's pissing me off. <laughs> Bug man will be live at five in the morning. So I'll I'll hop in and uh say hi while I'm getting ready for work. That's about all I have time for is to say hi. I'm always dancing the on the edge of being late 
There goes the gunshots again. Gotta run, be right back. I have to, I'm, not, I'm up at before five getting ready for work. Bugman, yeah, he has a, a pretty good morning show. He He's on Mondays and Fridays. And then the boar's nest is on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at five. J, J Bud is going live in 30, Mid South said. I forgot to send you a link to this, Travis. I need 200 more hours for Google Ads. Watch my videos, Lonnie said. Hey, uh, how close are, did yours ever start moving again? Um, Tony, your watch hours. JBT, uh, maybe 10. Did you, are, did you schedule yours for 30 minutes from now? So I'm new in here, y'all. I know Miss Billy, Mr. Gigability, definitely nice meeting y'all. I'm going to head to bed, but I'll catch y'all later again real soon. Thank you for coming in, Gerald. I appreciate you. And we do catch fish sometimes, I promise. Sometimes. Sometimes. This year hadn't been good so far, but we fished right through the bad time and everything when people a lot of times quit fishing. Dale said, Miss South, I had to unsubscribe. I can't have over 500 with only one kayak flip video. <laughs> Mid South said, Hitch subbed with all of his alts. Yeah, get some rest, Gerald. Donald Sullivan. Hi. Huh? Well, you know, that's his life right now, so. Probably been doing that time slot for a while. He's cutting back, so I do Monday and Friday for him. I'm working right now. I was diagnosed five months ago with stage four kidney cancer, but I'll be up. If I'm up, I'll check you out. Troy said I'm up at 3.30 a.m. Mid-South. No fishing for me tomorrow, Mo Buggy, but I'll be up to find you. I have gone back to bed after Troy heads to work by then, Mid-South. Hasn't updated since the 24th. That's weird. Have y'all ever heard of that? The watch his watch hours aren't updating. If you're gonna stay later, I was gonna get on panel with you, then go live on mine. It's awful nice out here. If you, I mean, like, I guess I'm an hour from the house. Probably should go here in just a little bit. Hey, Mister Rogers. I've had a channel cat messing with one of them that's aggravating me to death. <laughs> Mid South said, Oh, Angela's all alone when Troy goes to work. How you doing? <laughs> Bugman said, Fishing for claimers. Sorry, man. I care for my daddy's 87. His cancer has been caring for him for a few years. Yeah, it's rough. The 26th. Doing a good job, bug man. Hope children will do that for me. Mine don't have date, but only because y'all have the good sense not to watch me. It's how said. Bug man said, Don Arm will tell a really cool story about that tomorrow. Welcome in, Mr. Rogers.
It usually takes 48 hours. That's the longest seven day. I think that there is a way that you can chat with uh, support for YouTube. I, if it goes much longer with that update, and Tony, because you should have your watch hours by now to, to go to be at least partially monetized. So I would, uh, I'd probably contact them. Troy said, I'll be going to second shift for a month starting April 8th. I'll miss the live streams until I get back to day shift. Oh, man, that sucks, Troy. I really enjoy having you and Angela in here. I'm still on overtime and quite a bit of it for a while. April 8th is the day of the eclipse. I'm still thinking about taking that off, even though we're not in the path of totality. Still ought to be pretty good. Travis, don't. We will try to get on as often as you can. Yeah, we appreciate it. So, Angela will be alone during the night shift. Hmm. You're such, you're such a goofball, me and Sal. Angel said, all alone, me and Sal. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said, Red, why is your profile pick Billy? <laughs> oh, is it hung up? Maybe that's that ledge that, that kid was talking about. Mid-South said, hot sex, East Tennessee, red is in love. <laughs> there goes the helicopter again. Does it look chewed up? Wow. Thinking little channel cats. Don R said, bug man, it was hard for me to care for my father-in-law. He was so mean and rude to me, wanted to tell him, you know, I don't have to do this. Well, I made the wife have me anyhow. What's up, Sandy Toes? Such simple life goes, she said. Good to see you. Well, Sandy Toes. Min South said, it's like Rudd said, if you can't beat him, spank him. <laughs> I'd like to catch a fish. Curse bloosh. I think that's what the, uh, that um, sturgeon was on that hill thing. There's probably rocks going down it. But you remember how it felt like it was pull, pull, pull? Yeah. Mid-South said, I'm acknowledging that Sandy's here. I'm behaving. <laughs> Troy said, Mid-South, we need to hook up sometime. All the hearts. Every heart emoji there is. <laughs> you better be glad that he's in the Corpus Christi, Texas, or you'd be in trouble there, Mid-South. <laughs>
Happy Easter, Sandy, Tony said. Well, he said, wishing you the best of luck and happy Easter. You all need more sleep. Be safe, everyone. Good night, Lloyd. Good night, Lloyd. Mintel said, I'm in Corpus on vacation. Lonnie said, we all got to collab soon. Lord have mercy. That wind gust was a little bit rough. <laughs> we change our mind 53 times when we're going fishing. It is 20 minutes till 10. Sandy said, thanks, AJ. You behaving because Easter miracles say Mid-South might be. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I got a scale. There was something out there eating that. Pack bait. bait. He got something on the pack bait. He had a big old splash. Snagged him. He was out there eating it. Don said, Hi, Lance, the big burbot winner. 50 50. <laughs> Troy said, where you at, man? Sounds like I can be there in 10 minutes. 50-50, <laughs> they're cute odds. Dale said, bedtime this weekend, warming out. I'm sure you'll you'll catch one in the next 10 minutes because I left. Yeah. Well, we can only hope. But I'm sorry to see you go, Dale. Have a good night. Yeah. What's up, Greg Burgess? Welcome in. The La Quinta on Padre Island, Mid South said. <laughs> yeah, that channel cat had eaten about all of that that he could get off of that hook, hadn't he? Yeah. Stinking. Fish, come on. I'm running out of time. Need a fish. They were catching striper here earlier. That's what the, everybody says they catch striper here. You tell you tell Jacob that and he'll be down here. They're, they're talking about white bass, I think. Oh, wipers and that kind of. Had dinner at Black Sheep Bistro. It was me. Well, that's not good. Glad to hear you're doing good, most of most. Don. Did you hear that? <laughs> I do like dogs, so I'm in a tea there in the river. Penny's going to get a love tap. Are you seriously in Corpus, Mid South? Are you just saying that because you know stuff about it? You've been there before. I wonder what you call. 
Yes. Yes, Mid South. <laughs> he said, Would I lie, Cindy? You might not lie, but you'd you'd wind the trees around like a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy so, said, Yes, Mid South, you would. <laughs> Mid South said, I did eat a docks and I did see a manatee fifteen years ago, but whatever. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Was that a bite on that tiger? Or wind? <laughs> That's mid south truths. They're pretzels. <laughs> you notice how I suspected you right away. <laughs> Fish in the mid south and gag. Gag. That's going to be a thing in chats now, isn't it? <laughs> Look, Troy's dropping your link, mid south. You're going to have uh, subscribers before you know it. <laughs> Tony's stuck on pretzels. Actually, that kind of almost looks like a little crown <laughs> when I don't have my reading glasses on. Mid South, if you want to get away with lying, you actually need to try and make them believable. Mid South said, Anthony wants to twist me like a pretzel. <laughs> Tony said, I'm a trend starter. That's what I do. Yeah, but you're only supposed to do that in certain situations. 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 Tony said, "Mid, that's the yak does that for you." Ah, that's them gale force winds. Supposed to be 11 miles an hour. I think that might be pushing it. Yeah, it was gusty. Those frozen fish that came out of that bucket look funny sticking up out of the water there. Looks like, like, it looks like a piece of art, like you'd find up here next to the college campus. <laughs> I can see somebody doing that. Bobby said, oh my, Sandy, kiss me. Troy said, I am a Mid-South supporter. Not everyone bids to the trend, Sandy. I know it. I said, Sandy, I don't want to get away with lies. I just like being goofball. Sandy, you should have been there. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with notifications till after people are on live for hours. Even with the bell rung, yeah, sometimes I, I don't get get them till the next day or a long time later. It's Mint South said, I don't want anyone to believe the nonsense I say. Mint South said, Anthony is an athletic supporter. Troy said, nobody believes you, Mint South. That's why we love you. No, Mint South got himself in a little trouble today and got kicked out of a live. <laughs> Somebody took him seriously. The whole situation kind of cracked me up. I was like, uh-uh. Unclick the bell and re-click it. It sometimes helps, Don. I said, me, never. <laughs> what 
<laughs> Noodle took him seriously. I'll let you tell him itself. Plants <laughs> said himself who said. <laughs> Tony's just as bad as me at anyway, Tony said. <laughs> Tony says that I would, but I'm timed out. <laughs> It was funny. <laughs> Troy said you're not timed out. <laughs> I'll message you uh, after the live and tell you, Sandy. Tony said you can't put two roosters together, it never goes well. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen anybody take me itself seriously though. <laughs> Sandy said good, Sandy, because these boys are lips lips are shut tighter than a duck's ass with that information. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to know how tight a duck's ass is shut and how you know about that. <laughs> oh, I guess because they're on the water. Duh. <laughs> I said, how tight is that, Sandy? <laughs> it's watertight. Oh. <laughs> Sandy said, ask me, it's healthy, isn't saying anything. <laughs> I guess he doesn't want to get any drama started, but I don't think it'll start drama or I wouldn't be talking about it. I said, Sandy, I'll tell you, but I'm timed out. <laughs> I'm just talking about it because I thought it was funny. Tony said he's scared, Sandy. Sandy said, start drama. He breathes for drama. But it's fake drama. <laughs> Otter Cat put a, a rooster in chat. You know, Mid South said, I pressed Danny's button harder than I meant to. <laughs> Don R said, maybe you could find out what a, what a prostate check, Otter. <laughs> Great person said, I ain't even gonna say that. Troy said, I really enjoy all the chat in here. No one should take it seriously. We're just joking. It wasn't in here. I don't take no, I don't take mid sales seriously. He even no. Well, Danny did. Uh, he even uh, flirted with Cass Blast Camp's mom. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was wondering how that was going to go, <laughs> but she did well. She was good. We're wondering if Mid South is ocean safe. <laughs> Not answering any question here, King.
Yeah, he thought he'd uh, blocked you, but he just turned you out. Everyone is water tight. Mid South said, I don't intentionally try to piss anyone off whose name isn't doesn't start with Camp Fish and end in Dave. <laughs> You're crazy, Mid South. Well, no, they're not, Greg. That's how we drown. <laughs> And Greg, I don't know if you've ever jumped off a bridge, but no, they are not. <laughs> How did you find out you had something on that last time? Just start reeling on it. Well, I Danny's today. It wasn't all that big a deal. I just thought it was funny that uh, Mid South said we drowned by butt, butt chugging salt water. <laughs> butt chugging. <laughs> Oh, that's so gross sounding. Here, somebody throw some gag emojis up. <laughs> Sandy said, I don't know, Miss South, give it a go and we'll see. <laughs> now nothing's biting. These little. Oh. No. I was expressing my frustration and not getting one. <laughs> Stop it, wind. Mid South said, No, that went on at Old Miss, I think. First boys shaving in Aka. Shoving alcoholic enemas, frat boys, shave, shoving alcoholic enemas in each other. I really could not read that. Don said, someone told me a story about their wedding night, Sandy. <laughs> no. Oh. Did they really, Don? I thought so. <laughs> Mansell said Sandy was getting so turned on she stuttered. <laughs> Can't see. There we go. Sandy said, who's winning that, Dawn? Was it fun? Men South I'm being, said, I'm being good, so I can't say Sandy's in mine. Why are you being good? Oh, did you make some kind of deal? Did you decide that today was not the day that you should not be good? Uh-oh. Empty hood. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should throw out a little bit of it. Oh, did you? Okay. <laughs> His head said Sandy in a laughy thing. And Sandy said, oh, hey, Bish, how you been? <laughs> Dang it. Aren't nicknames unfortunate? <laughs> Especially when they're given to you by Sebastian. Under the sea. 
under the sea. Laura said, I don't remember, drank too much customary when I grew up. Yeah, the old crab is missing. Sometimes Sebastian doesn't make it to my lives. Ned Sal said, uh, Sandy said, I'm alive at the start. And Sal said, Cindy, I'm feeling vulnerable in my relationship and I don't want Sandy to take advantage of me. <laughs> Have you got the plug yet? Right here. Well, here's a flashlight. Okay. The plug's right here on this rock. Life is much better down where it's wetter. Sammy said, Mets out, there's nothing there to even take advantage of. <laughs> hmm. Hey, is the water coming up? Mm -hmm. Mets said, I'm tired of women only, women only wanting me for my trust fund. You have a trust fund? How you doing? <laughs> if you have a trust fund, where's my houseboat? How you doing? <laughs> Don said, just keep your hands to yourself and you'll be all right, Mid-South. Now, Don, let's not be hasty here. <laughs> I heard words trust fund. I'm not going to lie, I made my sticker peck out a little. My sticker. That sticker. My sticker peck out a little. <laughs> You need a knife? No. <laughs> Angela said, you mentioned the trust fund. How are you doing? <laughs> wow. Being south. Why? It has no money in it, Cindy. You just have to trust him. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> that takes the fund right out of trust fund. You take the fun out of trust fun. <laughs> she sent him some heart emojis and had a kissy face. <laughs> How you doing? Don, Don R said, a little pouch locked behind a zipper. His trust fund is all locked up and safe. <laughs> yeah, a little pouch locked behind a zipper. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Donar. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. I love you. Oh. I don't want it to turn off cold again. I'm I'm mm, I realize it's earlier in early in the year and it's Likely to, but <laughs> Troy said trust fund, and he put all the hearts in there again. <laughs> Not hard, said I wouldn't trust it. Sandy said, so pennies, Mid-South is packing pennies. <laughs> Be like, is that a roll of pennies in your pocket, Mid-South, or are you just happy to see me? A roll of pennies. I'm 
so sad. <laughs> Poor fish. Oh, I can take my email address off the screen. Boom. Can I see your, your telephone? What? Yeah. Never mind, I forgot what I wanted to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it a second ago, and I thought, I, I need to look at that. And then I was like, by the time I turn around and ask you for it, I forgot what I wanted it for. Hmm. <laughs> Fred said, Sandy, don't get any ideas. Men's self is mine. Sandy said, don't swing your penny roll around too hard, Men's self. I wouldn't want it to break in your excitement. Don R said, I do like the pouch underwear. I wish they still made them. Hey, I saw some advertised on the interwebs that has a pouch in it. Oh, hard fish fall. What? Oh, no. Did you drop it or forget where you laid it? No, I forget where I laid it. Oh. Dang it, man. Under the sea, under the sea. <laughs> Troy said, Some of us are crazy about me itself. <laughs> Sandy said, Can I get that? In an unbreakable promise, Troy. Mid South said there's an empty pouch in my underwear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don R said, for this new generation, they started making the pouch a lot smaller, not as comfortable. <laughs> That's where your manhood died off, Sandy said. Hmm. Mitzel said, Don, when we started wearing man buns, the underwear industry had to make significant changes. <laughs> I 
I found the perfect blue yarn for your scrunchies. I plan on making them tomorrow. If you want to Facebook book me your address, I'll send them to you soon. I sure will. Actually, you should be getting my address because I sent your stickers off. Yeah, you should be getting the uh, stickers pretty soon. It, sh it has my return address on it. But if you don't get them in a couple of days, then let me know and I'll Facebook. I'll probably just Facebook it to you anyway. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Well. Mid-South said, Cindy, send me your address. I have a package to give her. Keep, keep an eye out for them. Thank you. I think I sent them the same day I sent Tony's uh, little pineapple. And he got his pineapple. So, But little packages like that get there quicker than a, just a letter. Uh oh. Mid South said Travis quit jacking off the damn tripod. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. The tripod moved a little bit. So much fun, though. Huh? So much fun, though. It's so much fun, he said. Troy said, not much of a package, Mid South. Sandy said, Mid-South, with the amount of packages you have apparently have sent out to random women, anyone would think chopped up what you had to micro pieces. <laughs> mm Donna said, used to not be able to wear them when I was young. Do you know why cowboys always wear tight pants? <laughs> and South said, zero divided by a thousand is still zero. Unless you're doing common core math. There's not corn in that, is there? You can put that on the hook, actually. Troy said, I still love you, mid south <laughs> Sandy said, according to mid south calculations, air is expensive to ship these days. Angela said, Common Core equals one plus one equals six. That's a fact. Mitchell said, Sandy, if I could find my package, I'd send you a photo. <laughs> Man, did you throw it off? I don't know how they, them little cages I've got in the car would hold that perfectly. That's why they have the little cages, I think. Hey, Heather. What's up? Thanks for coming in. No activity whatsoever on them poles now. Hope we do better Wednesday. Sandy, I do have something 7-inch in a package. I'll send you a picture of it. It's a Garmin X, X Chomap 74SV. Hmm.
I wonder if anybody has any. Have you heard anything about? Um, what? I was talking to Sandy. Have you heard anything about Hank, Sandy? Donar said, when you're riding, the last thing you want to happen was your jewels slide down too far and get smashed between you and the saddle. Hence the term high and tight. That's why they wore their jeans so tight. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> Heather said, I'm doing okay. How are you all? Sorry I'm late. I was listening to a fishing podcast. What makes it a podcast? Anybody know what qualifications you have to have to be a podcast? Mid South said, Hello, Heather. Sandy's being mean to me. Sandy said, No offense, but that's not going to impress me. As far as I know, Hank is still either at Ashley's or with Hook. I, I heard that it made it to Hooks. I heard he made it to Hooks. So. A 94 SV would be a bit big for my kayak. I didn't get any pictures from Ashley. I hope I get some from Hook. Oh, it's just a sound without video. Okay, that's what a podcast is. Uh-oh. I think one of the rods moved. That's what I thought. Interactive audio book. Okay. Fishing podcast, were you listening to Heather? Tony wants to know. Trying your best to catch a carp over here. Yeah. There's, looks like something well, messing with that second rod. Tony Cindy's live stream might as well be a podcast. Oh, damn. Well, listen. Mid-South. All right. That's it. I'm timing you out. <laughs> I'm trying to sit here and have a good time. You just can't let me. There's a fine line. <laughs> I ain't going to do it. It might as well be a podcast because you're sitting here looking at rods that ain't moving. Occasionally, though, you get to see me race to them. Only for there not to be, uh, fish not to be there. <laughs> Angela said, we love you, Cindy. Picking on me. Why is everybody always picking on me? Oh, wait, I'm not Mid-South. Sandy said, de-ranch him, Sandy. Mid-South needs to get his maid suit on and scrub the back of the bus. The Bearded Dad Fishing Podcast. I would say put a new mate in your phone, but it's not yet. <laughs> Min South said, I thought I was in front of a capital building until I realized the flagpoles had no flags. <gasps> what, what is that? Uh. I was wondering what kind of symbol that is. I can't really see it that Tony put in chat. Crap. What? It's ten twenty. Oh, really? Mm hmm Family later. Don Art said, Cindy, between you and Tony, I have a good time most of the day. Thank you, my friends. 
You're welcome. Oh, was that what it was? Okay. Tony or AJ put in Playboy bunnies dancing. <laughs> well, it is Easter. <laughs> I said, am I chopped liver? Damn. <laughs> you don't go live mid sale. The bearded dad is on YouTube. Come on, fish. Me not going live is so Don R will have a good day. <laughs> Tony said, no one wants to see you swimming live, Mid, especially underwater. <laughs> His expertise is how not to flirt. No, we haven't had any fish either. You haven't missed the whole lot. Some good chat. I have the best chat on YouTube. And it's all them. And so I said, Heather, you must be new here. No, no fish. <laughs> Mid South. Mid South. Mid South. If he was around here, I'd push him in the water. You wouldn't have to worry about it. He'd probably be in a kayak and turn over. Oh, yeah. He'd. <laughs> He'd have his kayak upside down up here. Actually, I'm surprised my chat really sticks with me because we rarely ever do catch a fish lately. I don't, I don't know the last two weekends before this we caught some. They even caught a great big old sturgeon mid-south. Eat it. I think he was out dancing when we did that. He probably was. He would fall in anyway if Tony said, Hey, Becca Mud Tramp. Welcome in. <laughs> wow. I don't know, but that's the same noise that you always hear getting killed. You know what? <laughs> I got to wonder if it's not. Uh, them herons doing the nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Heather's a wonderful person, person that supports our channels, Troy said. Sandy said, when are you de-wrenching him, Cindy? I, could, I can enjoy Mid-South scrubbing a bus. Well, see, actually, I can't de-wrench him because I'm on my phone. I think you can only do that like that if uh, you're on your laptop or on your computer. You couldn't do it when you went in? No. I don't have a second device or I could. Pick it up and give him flat. Give him flat. You want to He's still there. <laughs> you got it? Swimming with him? 
You got him? You want you want real on him, real on him. Wish you'd have set it back down. Huh? Should have set it back down. I should have set it back down. That's a big old piece of paper. Why is this a sort of a rod? I guess it's just cone. Thought it was wet. Well, I won't come back to that one since I really didn't. Dang it. <laughs> I want you to know I have a hairy head. And so when I tell you to kiss my hair, yes, I mean it. <laughs> Wait, did I accidentally say that out loud? My bad. Tony said done pissed off the geese now. <laughs> can we get another, we can get another pineapple to throw in there with you, Becca, and then you both be juicy and char-grilled. <laughs> oh, I install. Are there ducks out there as well as geese I want to play? Sal, <laughs> is it wrong? I just got a chubby. What? Sal said, is it wrong? I just got a chubby. <laughs> Come on. Then I said, if I spilled my beer in my lap and thought it was something else. Only if you don't take care of it, it'll be fish in the mid south. Don't let a good chubby go to waste. <laughs> Are you going to sing for us tonight, Becca? Mm. <laughs> oh. And so I said, Becca, I think I'm in love with you. Could be gas.
Well, well, Your Honor, oh, they can't see. They can't see. These rocks aren't as bad to walk on as some of them, but okay. We had to make a pit stop. Well, they stay busy, don't they? Uh -huh. They stay busy, don't they? Hey, Eddie Gross. Welcome in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I, I really gotta go. Did I have water in the rip wrap? Tony said <laughs> yeah, something like that. I had to make a pit stop for sure. What's up, Keto Cheeto? Wabash night. Hey guys. Will you look on your phone and see how long it takes me to get home? Well, Becca, I'm trying to see how long it takes me to get home from here. I may have to shut her down and go home. I got to work in the morning. Time flies. It's going to be 11.30 by the time I get home. Dang it. It'll take me another... 30, 45 minutes to get. Twenty six people in here now. <laughs> the frequent weekends fly by, they do. Makes us bank folk forever to pack up, Big Mike said. Yeah. We've kind of got it down. Mid-South said, Cindy, it ain't about you. We're here to watch Travis. Hey, Donald Long. See? Work always gets in the way, don't it? 
Because after I switch my schedule around on the weekend, I'm I'm awake on Sunday nights. <laughs> I can stay up. But 10 hours is going to feel awful bad tomorrow if I don't go home and get some rest. Then I'll be grumpy when I get home. Listen at him. Wabash Nate said, I'm getting ready for bed myself. I got a 51-minute drive home. Hey, AMC. Happy Easter. Billy Bob, I ain't catching nothing. <laughs> Troy said, I'll call you. Mid South. I see my smooth brain, brother. Yeah, Billy, I, I, ain't, I ain't catching nothing. Got a couple of decent bites, but that's about it. Big Mike said, I'm coming up to Knoxville soon to do some bank fishing. I wish that... Uh, I wish I could stay. But I'll be back Wednesday. I get to fish a little longer Wednesday. Not much. But... You're what? Made out of iron is my brother. Not from another mother, from my mother. <laughs> Billy. What's up, AMC? Troy said, sorry, Beck. Sorry, Beck. Mid-South is my man. <laughs> I appreciate it, AMC. <laughs> it sounds said poor Becca she F F A and F O. <laughs> Becca said I'm a lover, not a fighter. Here's all yours. Treat him the way he needs to be treated. <laughs> Troy. <laughs> <laughs> Ned South said, I want to be your lover, Becca. <laughs> What's up? If you want to stay live, then I can put my phone on tripod and I'll let you take them four rods up and put in your car. I can stay live with them two rods. Or I can, stay, I can take all four of them. Just take them two rods over there. Up.
I'm not going to come between you and your man, Mike, Mr. Mike. I won't ever come between two people in love. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Well, hey, Joe McGraw. And Sal said, I keep hearing chickens cackling. You ain't hearing chickens here. Wayne quit blowing too. Mm -hmm. Is that when the bite died? Maybe. What's up, Joe McGraw? We'll call that a bite. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't much, was it? Nope. No, they're not, Joe. <laughs> Angela said, I have tears at this point. It dropped back down. I wonder what that was. Hmm. Back down. What? Number of people in here. Oh. oh, Angela won't keep off Troy, so I'm an old man out without a camera or lotion and Kleenex. <laughs> Hi, Jean. Welcome in. Joe said, all good. I'm listening to Oliver Anthony. He just came out with a few songs today.
Air Studio. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Joe said, I liked your song the other day, Becca. See, y'all are going to have to go check out my live the other night. <laughs> Thank you, Becca, for trying to steal a man for not trying to steal it. Yeah, I lost the feed. I mean, I can set my camera up there if they want to stay in there or whatever. That's fine. When the camera's blocked, someone's getting some. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy sent a filthy pics to Travis Mid South said. Um, I can leave it live while I drive home and Travis can leave the camera, huh? Travis can put his camera on here. You want to send me a link, though? I don't think I can go in there without a link. Okay, hang on. Joe said, man, Travis, that was a quickie. <laughs> you got 10 sticks while you were gone. Yeah. And I didn't want to appreciate y'all. Never mind. Cindy's back. I was having trouble getting uh, It was just a friendly little cat, Joe McGraw. It was. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the link. I mean, never know. We might get some. We got that start. Sorry. It's like it's, spring, whatever. I'll go in there. What? Hmm. It probably will scream. Let me turn my sound down. I don't know if it'll let me turn it all the way off. Is it letting you go in? So it says something about it's blocked my mic and camera. I don't know what that's about. Join without mic and camera. That's stupid. What would I do that for? Pull the head one down. Good night, Don. Hold on, y'all. There it is. Now turn it sad bees. Yeah, it's making that terrible noise. All right. Hey.
Hey, Jefferson Einstein. We got Echo. Yep. So well, we don't tell you to up yeah. yeah. What do I need to carry? What can I see chat? Oh, I can't see chat. Well, you have to either see the picture or see chat. Uh, take these two. I've got to take the bag, too. The bag? Or give me my wallet out of it. Oh. My drink. That's fine. You take the bag. And you going to carry the, in the bucket. Maybe I'll make it one too. I'm gonna switch that battery out over there. So it'll be a lot. I'll have it with me. Okay, people, she'll be back in our here in a minute. Maybe we'll catch something. I don't know. We'll see. I think she's got so. There she is. She's got all volume up now. We're fine. We're fine, Joe. I'm just leaving. I've got to uh, head back toward the house. Here. Okay, let me move you over here a little bit. Sit down here. I don't know why. I mean, I can't reach that him. Oh, I guess I can reach that actually. Yeah, everything's good. 
Ooh, that was close right there. That was real close. Huh? Can you hear me, Sandy? I wonder if you can even hear me. Hey, Sandy, can you hear me? We'll get back on there here a minute. You can hear Travis. Can you hear me? Oh, she can hear me. Can you hear Cindy? Hi, Jason. I can hear her walking. What are you doing up there? We're probably in our pocket. Yeah, I didn't fall. I managed to make it to the top of here. I can't hear Travis, so. You can't hear me. When I get in the car, I'll straighten it all out. What are you doing, Kenyon? Now I can hear. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me now? <laughs> now, how do I get home? What do you mean, how do you get home? <laughs> Let me see. When you're back, you back up to the left, and you go forward, and you turn right out of the parking lot. I know how to get out of the parking lot. You turn another right after you get out on the four lane and keep going down and go all the way to Kingston Pike and take a right toward the campus or the strip. And then you take a right that says 129 South. 129 South. Do not take 129 North. Do not take 129 North. Can you hear me now? God. I got two billion things to carry in when I get home. Listen there, she's got two billion things to carry in when she gets home. I got two billion things to carry to the car when I get ready to leave. I don't know what she's talking about. I know, and you got to do it all on one trip because it may not be there when you get back here in downtown Knoxville. See, I got six rods, a rod holder, a bucket, a phone, a backpack. Uh, Put everything bag. in the backpack. Right. Man, there's a striper out there. Keep splicing everywhere. Over. 
Do you, do you want to catch this trapper? And said the 129. Yeah, the 129 bypass. The 129 bypass. They'll not go, go south. Something down here stinks. Man, the water keeps coming. I'll be floating here in a little bit. I can't hear Cindy now. I don't know where she went. Cindy, are you there? Are you there? She was she was experiencing the circle earlier, the five G circle. It's when it says that you've got five G and five G and four G are useless. I know it. She took off and left me here by myself. Look at my side of my feet. I don't know what she's doing. See, now she she's not on here for some reason. Tony Messenger. Where the mom? Where the mom? Oh, how many skip that did you catch earlier? I caught one. I got here right at dark. We got here right at dark, and I started throwing out there toward the channel and caught one. I know. I know they're getting ready to come up through here spawning. So, until, uh, actually, there's better places up the river when they, uh, when they come up through here. I, we just know there's a lot of bait in here, bread fin in, in here. So, got potential to have a bunch of fish in here. It's coming upstream, but it's give and take. Somebody will be on them. Are you there? All right. I'm back. not a very good picture. I think I probably will put you guys back on solo. Let me see. Oh, that's fine. That's you can't see the tips of the rod, so. Yeah, that's always a problem. <laughs> you texted. Oh, you texted Travis instead of me.
That looks better. Can you hear me? Just barely. Barely. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's, that's what it's like down here. So did we scare Chad away? Uh, apparently the tongue is the only one they talk to him. Yeah. 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 Okay. I don't know. I don't know how I ended up. Did we lose Travis? I'm backstage. No, you're not backstage. Bad guys. Um. Okay. <laughs> he left him and bounced him off screen each day. Get back out here on 129 from where we were. It was what? It was easy. All you gotta do is go around to the end of the road to the red light, take a right, and then jump back on there. Bunch of right turns, and I was there. I think we scared myself away, and all he did was give me his number. <laughs> if it's loud, I can mute my mic and yell. We can just reach it. <laughs> I keep accidentally highlighting people's. Yeah, I think you get back at him not knowing how to respond to you, Troy. <laughs> I don't think he's ever had anybody come back at him like you do. <laughs> In that time where you gotta watch when you take a drink.
good to see that you're still here, Heather. I appreciate y'all hanging in. Uh, it sucks. Yeah. yeah, it sucks that the uh, bot's not any good. Now I'm seeing a whole lot more Teslas on the road than I was. Now you said, did you say Heather? Because I don't see Heather. Adventure America said, it. good to see you're still here, Heather. Oh, okay. Heather said, still here and listening. A few comments back. Go fluff the bait or something. Do a little, do a little dance. Get, get them fish bite. <laughs> I'm It's good for Mid South to have someone to get back to him, LOA. It is really. I think it's funny because I don't think he's ever had to deal with that kind of. Alcoa Highway. He's reeling it in. That's not fluffing it. I mean, just jiggle it, twitch it a little bit. <laughs> I don't think he knows how to deal with me and I can use and I'm used to that kind of stuff but I think it's awesome because <laughs> you never miss an opportunity to get him he's probably still lurking brown chicken brown cat <laughs> now he'll get a bite because he did the, the pole dance <laughs> Angela said brown chicken, brown cow, Travis. <laughs> you did the pole dance, so you'll for sure get it by now. Slam it all the way over and I have to go over and grab it before it breaks. There you go. He can take, Mid can take what he dishes. He's a good dude. He really is. He, he does, he brings a lot to chat. I like seeing him come in. Where you at, Mid South? Don't be scared. Get back in here. There you go. <laughs> he probably is still lurking, but I still love him. <laughs> Troy and Mike sitting in a tree. <laughs> You know, I could give a, a mechanic a stroke by letting them drive my car. <laughs> I 
Awesome, Anthony. That's how we feel. We can joke around by. Yep. Yeah. Do you say she's a little stroke on my camp? Yeah, I gotta keep you on solo layout. I can't let everybody see how I drive. Man, just listen to the grumble. Huh? Yeah, I don't listen to the rumble strips because you're gonna hit a bunch of them. <laughs> I hadn't made any rumble strips so far. Or there ain't any down through here one. <laughs> Rumble strips keep you awake. Come on, peachy, peachy, peachy. I wish I didn't have to go to work. Having an egg, you know, you have an excellent life, and then you gotta go home and go to bed. Sucks. When I said when I said fluff the baits, you got you just go out there and you know jerk it and jiggle it around on the bottom there. Well, I did. Didn't you see me just a second ago? Oh, I thought you rebaited the one. I did rebate that one. It had the uh, thread fin on it. And it got all night. Oh, okay. Anthony, you fishing them all? Tony did some marathon fishing whenever uh, Scotty was there. Scotty must be tired because he didn't come in tonight. He wore out. Y'all fish yourself to death. I think we killed Chet. We killed Chet? How many people? 16 people still in there. Well, dang it, man. No. Ain't nobody saying that. We want a fish. They give us a fish. Real though. I should have brought some flies down here. I don't think I got any in my pocket. Tony said, yeah, I drove home and had to vacuum seal a bunch of skipjacks too. So I'm sure he's sleeping by now. <laughs> yep. They still hitting pretty good up there, Tony. I'm getting pretty good likes on my lives anymore, even when I don't get a lot of people in chat. Or a lot of fish. <laughs> we still have fun. We don't care. Go out and fish. We're going to have fun. We're going to try to have fun. Before we went, uh, before we went live, I was uh, 48. Was it 48? What? Away from 15. Oh, 15,000? Yeah. Something like that. None of my shorts took off today. Uh, it don't matter. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's in the, uh, it, it's just kind of 
kind of weird on the skipjack. They'll be in one spot one second, and you'll turn around and... We had that big tournament up here in... Uh, four. We need to catch them. All of a sudden... So it wasn't even worth fishing for, really. Mine yesterday today, yeah, yours hadn't taken off either. Weekends used to be good. Yes, she does a good job on the chat and talk and all that. Okay, they can't hardly hear you. Are you far away from your phone? Yeah, I mean, her channel is still growing. It'll keep growing. Get closer to your phone or talk louder, Travis. Get closer to the phone or talk louder. Yes, now I can hear you, and Tony might be able to, too. He said he couldn't really hear you. Well, dang it. Now I can, though. Um, Angela said, that's awesome. We love your live stream so much fun. We used, we used to short on the, got around 19 new subscribers. Woohoo. Almost to a hundred. Yeah. And you'll, you'll figure out the exact way to use it. And that thing will start popping up. There. Yeah. A lot of people, it's getting used for everything anymore. I think that's why. I think actually YouTube has slowed it down. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I, you know. How much they? Sure. How fast it goes into the feed and how long it stays in the feed? Yeah, I mean, you know. But if you get a couple of shares or whatever on that thing, and a bunch, of, it's usually it's usually more subscribers than what you could get anyway. Yeah. I had one a couple of days ago take off, and I got 90 subscribers off of it, so. Okay, Tony, you have a good night. See you, Tony. We'll probably make sure she gets home okay and settled in or whatever. Hopefully, we'll get a fish. I don't know. It's a day here, really, besides them. And then back. Some big white bass up here. You never big know, white bass. Catch Might catch something big. I wouldn't mind catching another sturgeon. I know well, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? That's one thing about it. I mean, they too too awful many people caught sturgeons. <laughs> Tony said that one uh, short on Friday hit three hundred and seventy-six subscribers. Wow. I never got one to take off that good. I have but Tony's one, I have got one. Tony's. Go ahead. I have one that hit almost five hundred once. Oh wait a minute! I might have had one that had because I was creeping up on you on it, but I don't remember how many it had. Yeah, Tony does some real good and stuff on this show. Yeah, his content is real good. He's got real good, clear, bright video and. Uh, like he does that reverse stuff. Mine are just little little clips of catches. I'm surprised they do, do as good as they do. Don't spend a whole lot of time on them. The cool thing about Tony's is it's always usually in the daytime, too. Yeah. Yeah, biggest part of our, our video and stuff is at night. I want to say that we should get out more during the daylight, but we won't. <laughs> Especially now that it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot, and there's going to be a million boats on the water. Yep. Yeah. It's not that bad, but ever since uh, down here from the north, it seems like uh, the lake has filled way up. I had 3,500 views on it short today. I know it's crazy, ain't it? Yeah, I don't 
know why you'll get so many views on the that short the the song on that short evokes an, an emotional response in people that's the only thing i could figure out because I've, I've read and read and read and studied on it studied on it and everything and we've also tried other songs and stuff like that to try to get an emotional response now mo dog made his own version of it and he gets pretty good subscribers on his not as much as the that original sound does but the stuff he says in it in the song i, I think that it evokes an emotional response to people and they respond to it but i haven't found anything else that works anywhere near as good that's cool and i'm actually sure that eventually i will more of the things to do. that's what you got to do i mean we need to start doing videos and videos and stuff but Basically, you got to set a camera up the whole time you're fishing. Can y'all hear him? I can hear you. Um, the problem I have with long form videos is editing. Yeah. I don't, I mean, like. It takes a long time to edit, and you need a fairly good program. And I just don't have the time and the energy to devote to it because I fish and I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> and you got to have something that's going to hold a lot of space. Yeah. You can barely hear Travis. Yeah, he's cutting in and out. I don't know if you're far away from your phone. I'm going to my set. No, I'm not far away from it. Okay, and now I can hear you. It's like when you're aware of it, then I can hear you better. But you're cutting in and out some. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can. It's more important that they can hear you, though. Can y'all hear me better now? My volume on my screen was about halfway up in the setting. I don't know the audio. Oh, well, I can definitely uh, hear you better now. I didn't think you'd be leaving a good scent trail. Right now, I'll settle for a log to float down there and hook one of my lines. <laughs> At least the rod would move, huh? We did that up. Uh, I like to never forget that thing is. Where are you at now? 
me. Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Probably already down on four eleven. Can you even hear me? You're, you're cutting in and out still. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Okay, sounds good. Are you all right with that? We'll try to figure out that audio. We need to do some practice uh, videos, like, I mean, to practice lives like this. Because right. I can't figure out, we've done it before, we've remote fished before, and I could, we could hear you just fine. Oh, they can hear me now. But now I can. But like, you'll start talking, if you start talking very much, part of your words get cut out. Hmm. Okay. It's like a bad connection on a phone call, you know what I mean? Right. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, unless you want to stay live and. I If something was biting a little bit at least, then I would probably say, yeah. We try to get All right. 30, you can continue to, you can keep fishing. Yeah, I'll give it but, 25 minutes and see if I can catch anything, but I'm not going to All right. An hour. But, but. Yeah, I'm going to end the live and then uh, call you or you call me or something. Good night, Angela. Night, Angela. Night, Troy. Night, Heather. I appreciate, appreciate everybody that hung in there. I wish I could stay out fishing later. I'd fish half the night. You know, I would. But. It's going to start getting warm. We're going to have some. Uh, yeah. I have uh, two and a half weeks of vacation coming up and a plant shut down in July. So. We'll do some more stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dang it, hunting stuff. <laughs> uh, dang it. You missed the whole freaking live. <laughs> Come back Wednesday, everybody. Yeah, we'll see you Wednesday. I think, uh, what, six? Six, six o'clock. If, if we get there wherever we decide to go, if we get there, we, we may go early. It's supposed to be chilly, so we'll have to take that into account. So. Yeah, go more fire. Unfortunately, we have a four-letter word tomorrow word. Yep. Yep. So, all right. We'll catch you guys later. See you Wednesday. Come back hunting and stuff Wednesday. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.